There was the Women's March, then hashtag Day Without Immigrants. Not to be outdone, the feminists came roaring back with hashtag Day Without a Woman on March 8th. It was publicized everywhere, all over media, new media, Facebook, front page of YouTube. Uh, after it started taking place, however, there was no mention of it. Uh, thankfully, me and my producer went down to the protest, and what do we find? Well, a very small group of slightly large, nonsensical young women who really just wanted, in the name of equality, everything? We also do call for um, full reproductive rights, uh, including um, completely free access to abortion. Uh, you know, these are things that we call for because sure. you know, abortion is not just a woman's issue. Uh, abortion is a trans issue. Abortion sure. is a man's issue. Abortion is an issue. That's an international issue. It is. It is. That sounds just like the previous Women's March. So what made this one different? We're kind of um, ditching the, the capitalism, the heteronormativity, okay. the transphobia, the six cis sexism that was so rampant with the Women's March. Right. And we're going into um, something more uh, more intersectional, more inclusive. Okay, that was what I was going to say. And more radical. Uh, the point of capitalism is that there's an exploiting class and an exploited cl class. So. Uh, <laughs> Environmental justice is reproductive justice, and environmental justice is a feminist issue. But the problem with this, to borrow from a comrade, comrade, yeah, is that what happens when you break the glass ceiling is it leads the shards for millions of we women that are below to step on. You know, the truth of the matter is, even when I'm talking right now, this is unpaid labor. You know, it's important to recognize these things. Sure. The education that we do and the work that we do is unpaid labor. It still begs the question, what does any of this have to do uh, with feminism? And as far as event attendance, a big swing and a miss. As, you know, revolutionary socialists, who are many of the people organizing this, mm -hmm. um, we're not here to promote cis-sexism or heteronormativity with sure. movements, especially if they're about feminism, which is not about biological sure. determinants of anything. Is it the vaginas that you experienced out there? Yes. You know, not only is that image um, detrimental to people who don't have that anatomy or people mm. who are uncomfortable with their anatomy and who sure. don't want that anatomy, it's not inclusive. It'd be hard to say that about Right. Yeah. It's also uh, pink, and not everybody has pink genitalia, you know? It's true. It is, uh, and it was very much just a, a white women's march. Okay. What's happening here is... Oh, crazy blue-haired feminist was wondering when you'd show. We have a Nazi that's going, that is going, is supporting what's coming up here. We have open white supremacists in office now, um, and truthfully... Like who? Uh, Steve yeah, Bannon. Like He's an open white supremacist? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, who's a Nazi? Or Bannon. Oh, okay, okay, we're back to, okay. Bannon. So what, is there a specific reason for the red? Um, so the red, uh, actually historically, Women's Day was um, uh, a day of national action for socialists. Sure. And uh, so we decided to wear red uh, in solidarity with God. Is red like an official socialist party color? Or is um, it? It's kind of close. I okay. mean. <laughs> so kind of like the, the communism sort of red? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I an offshoot. Communism, Lenin approves. Love this bitch. Are you on strike from teaching today? Actually, I'm not a teacher this semester, but I am definitely striking from helping other faculty at a woman's university. Okay. Right. We should probably be, I don't know, striking. And I kick ass, thank you very much. <laughs> because I'm a pirate. Yeah. Carpet pirates. And we do things much differently. Okay, but you're not teaching this semester. I am not. And if you were, you wouldn't be today. You better believe it. Okay, well, this event on this campus was very small and somewhat depressing, but we were assured that there would be hundreds later on at the town square, and the next campus over would be much bigger with a lot more going on, so we decided to check that out. So, um, would you mind pointing that away from us until we know what's going on here? Sure. Like, you can point that. Like in that direction? He can. Sure. You can or point like, in that turn direction. It off and, like, then well, point it in that well, we're just doing. Doc they're, they're, he's we, following I us. I asked him not to point it at me. We're no, not. he's pointing it at me, though. No. We're doing a documentary. I don't know why this is so contentious. Point that in the other direction and talk to us, and then we can maybe sure. agree to be on it. But that's not what you're doing. And what okay. you're doing is actually really alienating everyone here who may really? not be on the video right now. I don't see anyone so else here. It's really upset. You don't need it. And if you don't want to speak with us so, because you're uncomfortable, that's okay. No, I was. No, I get it. I get it. I no, get so it. You're uncomfortable. Okay. So don't film them. Now. We're just engaging. Okay, that's fine, you can just like, We asked you not to, we wanted to- He's, he's filming me. Okay. This guy was clearly triggered, so he decided right. to leave. That's fine. Also, just asked right. you not to- like, Oh, look, he's back now. Yes, but you keep doing it. I'm sorry, we made, you're uncomfortable. That's okay. Hey, listen, it's not, it's not new to us. It's not new to us 
with no, you being uncomfortable with us. That's okay. We understand it. We respect it. No, you need your space. Oh, skunked again. That only left us with the march on down to town square. It was time to let their freak flag fly. All 14 of them. That was a white supremacist. That was what? a who? This is to whom she's referring. He was not a white supremacist. Matter of fact, he's a mug club member. That was a white supremacist. Oh, he just told me he liked my red outfit. Oh, he's probably being an ass. They're all fucking Trump supporters. He's a white supremacist? Yeah. So, so you, someone recognized you? Yeah, and they then just, Kroger got upset? Yeah, they were just like, you know, you're, you know, you need to go to the back. Oh, okay. That type of shit. Oh, uh, what's the killing of black trans women? So like the majority of like violence committed against like, like, like trans people and trans women particularly are like targeted for like, like a lot, like, like in terms of like police violence and just like intimate partner violence and like a lot of them, like I don't want to say a lot of them, but there are like, there's a significant part of the trans population that's like, that are sex workers. Because mm -hmm. they're like forced into sex work oftentimes because like they don't have any avenues for employment because of employment discrimination. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, what? So one of those things that's kind yeah. of, yeah. I think we've all had that. Yeah, so... Like, oftentimes they're, like, targeted for, like, with, like, like violence and often, like, there's a lot, there's a significant, like... Yeah. There's some of them as bigoted assholes. Like, that's right. why you need a lawyer to do anything that right. like, changes. Right. Yeah. Well, like, what are they doing? Like, So, like, trans women of color and particularly, like, black trans women are often the ones that are, like, most, like, likely to be targeted for, like, part, like violence like this and, like, murders and things. Okay. And so it's, like, a particular issue. Like, I think seven trans people have been murdered so far this year. Like, and the trans population is not big. There's a huge wage gap, um, not only from white women to white males, but also, like, Asian American women, Hispanic women. Right. They're all getting paid 75 cents, 65 cents, 45 cents is what I think Hispanic women are being paid to the dollar. <laughs> she bought it. God bless BuzzFeed. Four of them were trans women, like were black trans women specifically. So okay. like, it like definitely like, just like proportionally speaking, like sure. it's like a significant, significant issue. Like it's just like, it's like an intersection of like white supremacy and like That's transphobia. Huge. That's, That's huge. unbelievable. Yeah. So seven murders, gosh. So we didn't get to stay for the whole thing because, well, it was a little long and boring. There was nothing interesting about that. The most telling thing to me, though, was it had literally, like, nothing to do with feminism. Very little. Comrades, yeah. socialists, communism, abortion, uh, abortion on, on demand, demand, period. Day, period. No questions. Period. And unions. But unions. Very little to do with women's rights. Um, also, very few people. And... That one dog, I think, was a white supremacist. I saw it barking at one of the colored folk. He was. He was. It's disgusting, frankly. So it didn't really have a whole lot to do with feminism. And um, we'll come back and we'll talk about it again another time. Hi. Well, that was a crock of shit, wasn't it? Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterworthcredit.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran, enter in that promo code. It's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.